For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively and we must act now. Will you do it? Something on your mind? You don't look so good. Do you trust me? Trust is a scarce commodity in our organization. Let me answer you like this. I have put our future and the future of all synths in your hands. I didn't do that lightly. And you haven't given me a reason to regret that decision. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? It's only a matter of time. What the? Based off what Deacon said, that was... It was tough, yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out in the world, Mother. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens? I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. What can I do for you? The Brotherhood needs to be taken down, and it needs to be done now. All right, all right. Calm down. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it? Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you into a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. 
That can't be the whole plan. No, it's just the first part. Your job then is to get closer to the main camp. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And, oh, I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Oh, great. The day is won. I can see it now. We'll see what you think when you're neck deep in Brotherhood soldiers. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? Not a clue. Okay, I'll let Dr. Lee fill you in. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. That's quite an achievement. In objective terms, yes, it was. But the things I went through, that project included, ultimately caused me to seek out something better. It's what led me to the Commonwealth and to the Institute. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? What exactly is this virus going to do for us? Well, if nothing else, it'll take over the weapon systems and establish their airship as a primary target. You can figure out what happens next. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show up. Updated tactical assessment. Red Chinese presence detected. Aerial incursion by communist forces. Cannot six. Initiating directive. Seven, three, nine, five. Destroy all communists! Time to go in. We're relaying to a safe location. you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but I'm glad you're safe. Are you comfortable? It's good of you to ask. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just take care of the Institute. Take care of its people. They're good people. You know that. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, 
It's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Some other treatment that could help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... At increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided... It wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. Do you really mean that? Yes. Of course I do. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts. Whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted. But it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I... I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. <laughs>